Need more customers for your business? Create your own TV commercial. Advertise with us. We'll help you promote your product, your service to your customers. A plan to fit every budget. Over 1.5 million household views. Increase your revenue and sales. Advertise with us today. Advertise at thejackyaxson.com. Welcome to another fabulous show with yours truly, Jackie Jackson. You are watching The Jackie Jackson Show, the place where entrepreneurs can come and get information to be inspired, empowered, encouraged, and you can get all the information you need that's gonna take you to the next level. Today I am so, 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 so excited because it is my next generation that is actually going to interview me. So today the tables have turned <laughs> and I am not going to be interviewing anyone. They are going to be interviewing me and I am the interviewee, right? So you have the interviewer and then you have the interviewee. And today I am the interviewee and I'm really, really excited to have her on the show. And it's my little protege and when you see her, you're gonna know why, all right? So with no further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to the lovely and talented and beautiful Jasmine Allen, my baby girl. Hey, Jazzy. Hi. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really nervous right now. Are just, you nervous, baby? I don't know what to. Ex I don't know what's happening, so I'm like really nervous. But I'm also very excited, so that's okay. So today I am going to interview my mom because I have some questions right here, and I can't wait. So you can't wait. Uh, first question. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, before you begin interviewing me, uh, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? Okay. So, as my mom already said, my name is Jasmine Allen. Uh, I am nine years old. I love kind of everything. I like to do art. I like to draw. I like sports. I'm very, I'm a sports girl. Um, I just like being myself, and I don't care what anyone else thinks. I'm Jasmine, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she gets that from me, pretty much, unapologetically so. Um, her father and I, we encourage her to be herself and to be the best little girl she can be and to pursue whatever passion she has. If she has any interest in anything, then we always encourage her to explore that. But you didn't tell them about your karate. Oh, oh I, I, I forgot. Yes, come on, tell them. <laughs> so, um, I do karate. It, right now, I am a purple belt. So, it goes white, yellow, orange, green, and then purple. After purple becomes blue, and I'm about to get my blue belt. So, I'm really excited, and I'm testing. So, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready to go to the next level, that's right. It takes a lot of discipline and practice to accomplish that passion and dream of yours, to go up in a different level. So I'm looking forward to when you're pinning on like your black belt, right? Oh, oh, I'm going to go be on my black belt. You're gonna be on your black belt. I'm gonna become a master. A master? Like a samurai master? Yes, sensei. <laughs> All right, and what about school? You didn't say anything about school. <clears throat> well. Because <laughs> you're fabulous at school. Very. Very. So. Currently, I, can I tell them about that? Sure. Okay, Cur I don't mean to brag, but currently I am in the gifted program at school because I am in the gifted class and I am in fourth grade. Uno does the So, <laughs> I am in the fourth grade, I am the, I'm in the gifted class, so the gifted program, and what that is, it's for the children who are not being challenged enough. So, they go to that class to go to their standards and higher. So, right now, I'm at this spot. Um, so, uh, the other day, I think this is very exciting for me because I'm really excited because the other day we took our math diagnostic because every like quarter or so of the year, we take a diagnostic reading and math. So, the other 
day we took our math diagnostics. So by the middle of the year, which is what we took, you have to go up by around 10 points or so. So, and by the end of the year, you have to go by up by at least 20 or so points. Right, so, so the expectation is that this um, diagnostic, right, at the end of the year, they expect you to increase by 20 points. And when you took your diagnostic, and this was half of the school year, <laughs> what was the results for your diagnostic? I, I'm so excited, but I went up 22 points. Oh, wow. So you went up 22 points in half the year when wow. the expectation was to increase by 20 points for the full year. Yes. That's pretty <laughs> phenomenal, young lady. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one more thing. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. You're also um, just recently inducted into the National Elementary School Honor, Honor Society. Society. Is that true? Yes. Um, How did that make you feel? I, I, at first, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> so I was like, okay, thanks. But I don't know what it is. So mom ended up having to tell me about it. And now... I'm like super excited. You're right, you realize oh it's a pretty God. big deal, right? It is a pretty big deal. Mm. <laughs> that means you're a smarty pants. Because only smarty pants get to do that, smart. right? Smart pants. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing up signs, I can't with you. Anyway, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a commercial break, and then when we come back, Miss Jasmine Allen is going to start asking me some questions, and she's going to go deep. As you can see, she's not afraid of the camera at all. <laughs> so let's see what she's going to ask me. And we are back with the Jackie Jackson Show. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the Jackie Jackson. Subscribe to our channel at YouTube, the Jackie Jackson, as well as like us on Facebook at the Jackie Jackson. It's too easy. Share your comments, your likes, your requests, questions, anything that you have, just share it. <laughs> Trust me, I'll respond. I think that's what people like the most is the fact that I'm always accessible and um, I'm always available to, to answer questions. So today's a really cool show. It's a really special moment for me because I have my little mini me on with me, Jasmine Allen, my beautiful little girl, who's not so little anymore because she's here interviewing me. So she's like <laughs> my big little girl and she's getting ready to share some questions and we're going to just talk about some real stuff because in my household um, I have two children my son is um, a teenager he's a young adult actually that's my that's my big man <laughs> shout out to Jaden if you're watching hey Jay so my son is in college and my little girl she's in elementary school in the fourth grade and both of my kids are doing really really well and I love 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 to brag on them so if you're <laughs> mom dad and you have fabulous kids remember if you speak truth into their life and speak prosperity into their life and you believe that and you anoint them and tell them that they are going to go on and do great things it is the inevitable that that's exactly what will happen in their lives you speak good things into your children's life so I have my little girl here and she has a question for me so what's your what's your first question Miss Allen well the first question is not on this paper so let's find real quick. okay <laughs> so the first question is, I know how you do this every week, like toast your show, but I'm nervous and I don't know how you're not nervous. So uh, my first question is, how can you do this every week and not be nervous? Oh, wow. That's a really great question, Jasmine. <laughs> All right. Okay. So how can I host a show, right? 
be in front of the camera, speak to, you know, hundreds of thousands of people and even millions, right? Because it's international. We're international now. We're in multiple countries <laughs> and not be nervous, right? <laughs> so the truth is this. When you are doing what you love in life, you are not nervous at all about it. You are 100% dedicated, involved, and passionate about what you're doing because 110%. you like it. 110%, even more so, you're correct. You love what you are doing and it doesn't even feel like work. I'm like every time, every week actually, every time I, the camera goes on and it slights camera action and the producer counts down and the clapboard goes off, I love it. Like my heart pitter patters and I'm energized and I'm excited to be here because I know that this is part of my calling and this is how I communicate with the world and how I express myself and share a really positive message. So I love it. I'm not nervous. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy, just a little nervous. Well, thank you for that helping motivational speech. speech. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Question. <laughs> so, so, what's your next one? My first question, really, on this is how do you build a successful customer base? How do I build a successful customer base? Well, um, we talk a lot about um, business and ownership and finance in our house. As a matter of fact, one of the games that we play on game night is cash flow, right? So we talk about money all the time and it's, we talk about it openly and we actually talk about money in a positive and loving way because I don't want my uh, children to be afraid of money or to feel like money is so distant from them that you know they could never achieve, um, achieve it and earn it. The more you talk about money with your kids, the more they understand it openly and the more that they can, you know, just really walk in their purpose and be able to really choose a occupation, whether they're going to become a business owner or they choose something that they really want to do and be able to really understand money and like it, love it, earn it the right way, you know. But how do I build a customer base in my business? Well, the first things first, I have to be a servant. I know it's odd, right? What does that mean? Well, the way how to build your customer base, you actually have to give more than you expect to receive. True. And that's how you build your customer loyalty. When your customers expect that you are going to give them value for the exchange of their dollar, that's how they come back to you. So you provide them with exceptional customer service, right? Which means you always answer your phone and you do unto others as you want someone to do unto you, okay? And then you give them a lot of value, a lot of value for their expectation. So if they gave you $1, you're gonna give them back $10 in value, something that's gonna improve and empower their life. So that way they can maintain that relationship with you and trust you. So that's how I would uh, wanna be treated when I am someone else's customer. So that's how I treat my customers. Okay, well, that was very long. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your mama is really long-winded. I'm so loud. You see what I got to put up with all the time? Oh, my goodness. Give me your next question. What's the next one? Okay, I want to take a quick question break real quick. Okay. And I have to, I, let's play a game. A quick. game? Yes. Oh, this is unexpected. Yes. Okay, so what's your so game? Pop quiz. A I'm pop just, quiz. I'm just oh. kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay, because I'm not ready. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> okay. That's the thing about pop quizzes. Yeah. But the game is, would you rather, all right? All right, would you rather, so, all right? Would you rather, uh, would you rather have no money at all, or would you rather have money but not a lot? Hmm. Let me see if I understand your question. Are you asking me if I'd rather have a lot of money or if I would let, if I would settle with less money? What are you asking? A lot of money. If, I mean, the same, yeah. The yes? Same. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so my answer will always be I would rather have a lot of money. <laughs> so that you can give more. So that I can give more. You are correct. But not only that, um, money is a tool, right? We all need it. So... A lot of times people have this negative connotation and negative stigma, negative and limiting belief about money. Money is dirty, money is evil, hush hush, don't talk to your kids about, about money. But you know, it's, money is essential to life, period. 
all right? So you need it to eat. You need it to live. for transportation, to live, for uh, substance, clothing. for a roof over your head, for clothing. All of these things require an, an exchange, and that exchange comes with for goods and services. So I'm exchanging a dollar in order to get back something. In addition, money allows you to live your best life. Now, I know that's kind of controversial to say, but I believe that we are all born with an abundance of talent, so much so that it is our purpose to walk within that talent so that we actually can give light into the world and be a, a servant to someone else and really improve upon ourselves and someone else in the community that we're in. That takes money. <laughs> so contrary to popular True. belief, right, it takes money to actually be 100% fulfilled because a man, and I say man, I'm a woman, but man needs things. And only through the acquisition of things can you actually fulfill your best life. So, for example, if I was a painter, right, and I wanted to paint for the arts and paint for a cathedral or paint for a um, gallery that was going to be seen um, and, and people across the world were going to be inspired by my beautiful art. Well, guess what? I need money to buy the paintbrushes. I need money to buy the paint. I need money to go to class to educate myself, to learn how to paint and keep up on the best techniques there and are let me add something available. To that. So I need people money. pay you money to get your things as well. So just I want to add that. So you can get to Okay. So <laughs> yes, people pay money to other people because they need things. And those things are should be an improvement to your life or an improvement to yourself that you can use as a stepping stone in order to get yourself off to the to the next level, right? To be able to really fulfill yourself. <laughs> exactly. So what's your next question? This is probably an easy one. Because, Tell me. What because do you think? So far you've asked pretty hard ones, so this is an I wouldn't say it's, it's an easy one. Okay. So what are your hobbies? What do you do in your non work time? What do I do in my non work time? What are my hobbies? Well, I think that I'm a glorified Uber. That's for one. <laughs> yes. Driving you, yes. you and your brother around. You guys is like super but, duper busy. But you don't drive Jaden around anymore. I don't drive Jaden around anymore because Jaden is now his own driver and I bought him a car, which took money to do. So I bought him a car. So um, what my real hobbies, what the things that I do like to do, I love, love, love to read. I love to read and I love to listen to audiobooks. So whenever... Um, I'm not in the mood to read, I'll listen to a book. And I know that that's kind of like boring because I do it a lot in the car when my kids are in the car and they have to listen to like Dale Carnegie. <laughs> And they have to listen to like Mom, Robert thanks. Kiyosaki or if they listen to, um, who else? Nap Napoleon Hill. Um, there's the so many. W W guy. Who's the, that? It's the, um. Rich Dad, Poor Dad? No, it's no. the, what, 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 it's like. Oh, Wa Wallace Waddles. Yes, Wallace Waddles. Yeah. I have to listen to all. You have to speak up though. No one can <laughs> I have to listen to it all. <laughs> yes, you have to listen to all of it because it's feeding it's feeding your subconscious, whether you recognize it or not, at this early age. So I want my kids to be exposed to <laughs> understanding um, some concepts about life that includes them understanding how to create a vision, how to dream, and put that, make that dream come true by creating an actual plan for it and actually believing that they can. So I introduce them to authors, I introduce them to very successful people, and I have them learn those life lessons from those individuals by reading these books. As a matter of fact, didn't you start reading uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Yes. Got a lot of big words in it, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> but that's what dictionary is for. You'll be all right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think you'll really like this next question okay. because we just, like, talk about it. Yeah. So what book has inspired you the most or and or what is your favorite book? Oh, wow. What book has inspired me the most? I would say it's the Bible, Jess. The Bible. I know. Oh. I know. But that's the book that has inspired me the most because... It is the only book that I know for many and millions 
of millions of people across the world that when you read it, you are empowered and enlightened and there's wisdom that transfers from the text of the Bible into your soul, into your core being, and you actually become a better person by reading it. That's my belief. At least I've become a better person by reading it. So that's that. But when it comes on to like business books, um, I do like, I like E-Myth. That's a really good one. And one of the ones that I really, I started out with one of the first um, business books that I read was um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. <laughs> and that was pretty cool because um, I, prior I, I to like that, it so far. you like it so far. Prior to that, um, you know, I, I was on the path of um, quote unquote doing all the right things. I was going to you know school. I was in school. I was studying for college. I was trying to find um, the best job that I could find for my education level and my situation. Who would hire me? And then I realized some things like, man, you know, a job is. A job you know there's some there's jobs where people enjoy doing it but it's not a job or a position that's going to compensate me for my value it's going to compensate me for the task that I am completing so once I realized that I was like okay well I need to change courses and figure out how I can be compensated for what I believe that I am worth so that's a big difference okay um this next question is a little hard, but I feel like you can answer this. Oh, okay. You have faith in me? That's good. How many <laughs> hours do you work a day of average, on average? On average, how many hours do I work a day? Huh. Hmm. That's a really good one. I don't think that's so tough. I'll tell you how my day goes, right? Because schedule. Um, my schedule. Because right? <laughs> as an entrepreneur, one of the cool benefits of that is the fact that I get to create my own schedule. So, but it takes a lot of work to create your own schedule, mm -hmm. meaning that you have to have some systems in place so that you can actually complete all the things that you're responsible for doing and still be able to dedicate time to the things that you love and to dedicate time to the people that you love. So I wake up every morning, I would probably say about between like about six and seven, like my, I'm conscious around 6 a.m. And I go through my um, morning uh, rituals, which is to meditate, and I go through my affirmations, and I say them out loud as I'm laying in mm -hmm. bed, and I'm thinking about what my day looks like. And then it's all about um, it's all about some breakfast, isn't it? And getting you ready for school, that's important. So I have other people, right? I have little people in my life that I have to put together <laughs> and make sure they get out the door on time, so that's pretty cool. And then once you are off to school, I am off to the races, ma'am. It is time for phone calls, it's emails, it is sales and services in my business, and then it is um, wrap-up time. So I would probably say I dedicate a good four hours while you're at school to focusing on my business, and then by the time one to two comes around, I'm already thinking about you again. <laughs> because it's time for me to go get you some school. And errands. And errands and things that um, are Last important minute. to our, our household and our family. So okay. I would say that my day entails of work hours. My day entails about four Five to hours. six hours of work hours. And then the remaining time, I utilize it for my family and um, my personal life. Okay, well, uh, well... Let's play a little game real quick. Another game? Yes, I'm focus, all about focus. games. Okay, oh so th goodness. this is a question, but don't answer it yet, okay? All right. What would you say are the five key elements for starting for starting and running a successful business? Wait, don't answer it. Okay. So the game is, you, instead of doing all this complicated things, because I know you're a talker, so and I am too, <laughs> but can't blame you. So um, let's just play this game. You're going to name... Five things, five quick things uh, to running and starting a successful business. So, okay. five things, real quick. Ready, set, go. A vision, a plan, marketing, finance, and a budget. That's it. Love it. <laughs> okay, so that, that was an yeah. easy one. That's for me. What about, what about well, you? Okay, me? How about you? What are your five things? You got to tell me your five things. <sighs> Because you, you're very successful, too. So what are your five things? School. Uh-huh. Money. Um, knowing what you want. Yes. Uh, planning. Ooh, that's a good one. And journalizing. 
and journalizing. <gasps> High five on the journal. I forgot, that's right. We are journalizing. <laughs> we are scripting and writing out our vision and really understanding our goals. As a matter of fact, our, um, our faith family, we are challenged to do 101 goals. <laughs> a right? month. 101 <laughs> goals. That's a lot of things to think about. That is a lot. So we're going to talk more um, about that, and we are going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, Miss Jasmine Allen is going to continue her insightful interview with yours truly, the Jackie Jackson. You can be another part of 